Hello YouTube, how are we? All good, I hope. Next job, let's go and have a look, eh? Nice coffee to start. Can't ask more than that. So, on this one, main expanse of the driveway is going to be in gravel. Going round, turns, turning bay over there on that side. Turning round to the fence and then over here. So we've got like a little concrete apron. Well, we're going to put the concrete apron in there and it's going to be tiled in like a Victorian tile. We've got a path coming straight through there in Marshall's Tesoro, which is a sawn natural stone going up and then turning at a right angle. And then again, up to the door. Come round, come up like this, and then we've got steps here to this side, and then there's like a, a landing at the top on the level of the door, and then here, it's going to be steps down this way. So you've got two access points, and then there'll be a planter on this part here, and then a pathway leading to the gate. So there's a big uh, clearance job now, get everything stripped off. Get it down to height and build back up. Let's go. four loads out of here it's lunchtime on day two so on this area here previously there were greenhouses with loads and loads and loads of cactuses so underneath there was brick and there was all footings uh, plastic you name it it was in there slate uh, glass everything so what we've done this is going to be a border so We've dug that out, got rid of it, there's some of it there. And then this area here is good soil. Uh, this is actually going to be a bed, this bit. The drive comes round here like this. So I've excavated that now while the machine's here. We're going to put some of that good soil there into this bit. So uh, we're not getting rid of all that. Uh, so we're killing two birds with one stone. And then we've, just, we've got this down to height, so we've just got to get this area now. Uh, some of that stone we've over dug that a bit so we'll lose some of this stone in there and then just grade this back we 
Here they are, the best in the game. Oh dear, spillage. Who was that? Oh, you crack. Was me. Yes, Craig.
Let's leave the past behind Walk with me There's something else we need to find Say you'll go, don't make me wait There's no need to steps built plants have formed that's that part done we're on to the flagging now so we're just setting out the best way to do this so we've got two aprons either side which are going to be tiled in a victorian uh, style tile and for this part now we've worked out the best place to start the flagging because we want it to be central to these steps so I'll find the middle come across and it works to the middle of this flag which brings us down to this point and then that point then the pattern will go that way because we don't want to come on we don't want that path to fall 
in line offset to a joint so the way it is now that's central to that that will come down and then the pattern will run that way of the flags and then also that gives us the same width give or take a very small amount there to there so they will look symmetrical and then that path will run through there and then the levels and line of the path we've took since it's the path on the gate we've come up and that line there runs parallel with the house with the building and then we just got to put an extra row of flags on that side there and then level wise we're coming level on this plane till we hit this line here so that's level falling this way and then from this point here it kicks down slowly falls down to the gate so we'll have to twist it back to a level path and luckily the manhole is included on that side not on the kick so that won't be an issue just gotta get them down now oh no it's good way basically this kids I'm buzzing, let's drink up your death Look like big fun, come on, let's get it on Like that one, fin gay song I'm stunning, you love it Come on, give me something I know that you want it Come on, give me something The night is young and so are we So maybe you should leave with me The night is young and so are we Yeah. 
I'm finished with it. You know that I'm the queen of overthinking It's like we're done before we even started so if this is the end now, baby, know that I gave him my all. I believe in us. I won't give up on you. I will be holding on for life. Hope you believe in us. Please don't give up on me. At least give me a try. Cause you're the best thing, the best thing. Down this monstrosity of a ramp that was here, there was like a plinth that ran through there, so that was the fall of the ramp. We've uncovered the original steps that were here, so there's another two or three underneath that, and this top one here, and I presume all of them are the same, is actually one whole piece of stone, so it's not just a top flag. That, if you look there. There's no join. That is one solid piece of stone that's actually built in to the brickwork there when they were building the house. Amazing. It's got a lovely fluted edge underneath there as well. And you can see the thickness of it there, how it's worn in the middle. Amazing. Why you covered that up, I don't know.
next job is to put the edgings around the driveway so this is all going to be gravel and we're forming the edges with these poor free sets from Marshalls so we're just loading those out now I've got a line set up start banging them in
all the steps have arrived. From Marshall, show these are a metre long by 350, 50 mil deep with a bull nose finish. It's there going to be four mil steps, which is going to be four mil like stone. Like these two guys. Stunning. Just think, lad, sun's shining somewhere. Yeah, not here. That's alright, it's shining somewhere. <laughs> it's also five o'clock somewhere, so it means we can go for a pint. What? It's also five o'clock somewhere, so it means we go for a pint. Oh, yeah. So, well, you know, such is life, innit? Christmas, innit? Nearly Christmas.
Okay, so we're on to we're on to this top area now, and there was a bit of a conundrum on where to start the paving, what to centre it on. Do we centre it on the middle of this step here, or do we centre it on the door, or do we start with a full flag there, or this side? What we've decided the best option. We've been through it all with the customer, laid them out a couple of ways, and we're coming off the middle of the door. It comes far enough away from this line here to make it look like it's not tried to line up with it and it's missed it. So it's far it's far enough away from that joint. That's the best way. We're both happy with that, so we're going to lay it down. It's not easy, this, because the door isn't central to that space uh, because you've got the chimney breast here, which comes out, and you've got a cavity at the back there where there's a drain and a vent for the cellar. So that's gonna have to be have like a grill fabricated to go over that. So whatever you do, it's nothing's quite gonna work out right. Uh, but this is the best option for this top area now. Caught behind the Venetian blinds I had to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Hey, look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for sunset
you notice on the other steps we did we notched them around this corner so it gave the effect of it just wrapping around a bit which was nice rather than that harsh finish can't do it on these because that's the full length piece we didn't have the opportunity to do that so what i've done i've cut some little pieces and i'm just going to resin those onto either side of the step just so it matches up with the other side Okay, we're just sorting out the stone base here when we got the stone delivered we just roughed it out uh, what we thought was right and then when we put the edgings in uh, it just needs a little bit of adjustment just to get an even level right through for the gravel so we're just taking off a bit of a high spot here and moving it down to the far end there and then we'll give it a good whack uh, ready for the gravel tomorrow Gravel's arrived, we've got 10 ton spread across 11 bags, 20 mil Cotswold gravel, which is going to look stunning with the flags we've got down. Okay, it's been a few months since we were last here doing all the work that you've just seen. Now we're back to put pads in for gate posts. We have a new sandstone gate posts that are going to be made. So what we've got to do is cut back these plates, the width of the pillar, both sides, here and here, and then dig out, put a concrete foot in, and then the stone masons are going to come and drop those in, and then after that then we can finish off with a row, like a rumble strip of leftover porphyry sets. So cut these back, dig the holes, concrete in, let's go.
back again. As you've seen on the last video, we were getting prepared for these sandstone pillars to go in. They're now in and looking absolutely fantastic. So we're just going to do some finishing off at the front. We've got a rumble strip in the same set as we've used around the edge to go in between those two pillars there just to finish the front of the drive off. Once those are in, the apron as well there behind is going to get tarmac. Let's get it on. Great till you added color. 